Hey y'all, we are not live <laughs> again. Um, today, Scarlett wants to try to do a colander pour, but instead of doing the tree ring, she's going to do like a puddle pour. And if you watch the other video that we did with the colander, you'll see that doing a tree ring kind of made the petals of the colander pour kind of busy, I think. And this yeah. way you'll be able to control how big. Um, so I don't shake it, I just. Just, we'll mix the colors in different cups and then we'll just add it. Okay. So yeah. Simple. So simple. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. My pledge, my pledge. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're gonna do. Stay tuned, y'all. Lost it? Somehow, yeah. So I'm gonna have to add that to my buys today. I'm not being recorded right when I say that. QR. <laughs> Just kidding. No worries. <laughs> you won't tell Carrie. <laughs> I love you, Ski. <laughs> she knows. She, she knows. knows. She knows because I'm always complaining. I don't know where it is. Do you think I lost it in my car? Probably, though. I haven't checked. That's one thing I haven't checked, but I'd rather just get one. And then one day I'd be like, oh, there it is. And I'll be like, mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't love mixing resin. They need to come up with like, like a small power tool mixer. I tried one time using a cappuccino frother. Oh, yeah, it's tiny. that's smart. Yeah, it was too tiny. I think yeah. I need like something in the middle size. Okay. Mm yeah, because the stone they they have that power tool thing, and I'm like, dang. And it's crazy because it makes so many bubbles and then I never see a bubble on the thing. I'm like, <laughs> no, that's because he uses like a heavy duty torch. Oh, right. For sure. And that's going to get all of it out. And he adds so much paint into his stuff that it's thinning out anyways. Because oh. if you notice the base tints. Thin. Yeah, they're more uh, like enamel or something. They remind me of shoe polish to smell. Mm -hmm. I love that smell. It's one of the few paints that we use that has a smell. But it works great. So what are you gonna do? Oh my gosh, you need to awesome. real quick. Be right back. Feel free to tell people what you're doing. Talk through it. Okay, I am just mixing right now. I have to mix this for it suggests three to four minutes, and I do the four uh, minutes just because I want to make sure that it's super mixed. And basically, you know, I also watch it get. Uh, I gotta stand up to get cloud. You know, the cloudy to go away when I mix and I just stir and scrape the sides and the bottoms evenly as much as possible as well as my stir stick. So hence me, not the flat, not just the flat ends, but also the little sides like this. I just like to make sure I get everything because um, it would suck if, you know, you did this amazing pour and then it didn't ever cure. <laughs> That'd be a bummer. So. That's what I'm doing. And basically my hand cramps around three minutes, but I always have my cell phone around and check it or whatever. Um, but you also see the clarity like coming through. Am I even on screen? Right up there. The clarity coming through at like three, you know, around three minutes too. So that last minute just helps to like get those little wispy cloud bits out. And that's when I'm like hardcore, hardcore stirring. And I always keep my stick on the bottom as I stir and scrape. Stir and scrape, stir and scrape, and I turn my cup as I do it just to make sure I'm not staying in the same spot all the time. And then I scrape my side of my stick. And then I scrape it in here and put it back in, like fold it back in. And we're clear. I don't know. And you can see with stone cut, you really can see the clarity. Even if there are a bunch of bubbles in it, you can still tell. Like if you do this and there's no white wisps, you're like golden. So. 
But I'm really excited to do this, see how it turns out. Um, the colors we're going to be using today is Surf's Up by uh, Resin Art Luster Pigment. It's a really pretty uh, blue. And this one is uh, new, it's not available yet. It's a sample, so it's Chartreuse Shimmer. Oh, that green is so on point, you have no idea. I mean, for greens, that's a pretty rad. There you go. As well as Color Obsessions Amethyst, which is a purple. So that's going to be interesting. And Stone Coat Space Tint White. All right. So now I'm just going to be putting it into the cups. So that way I have a cup right here, just going to set that there. And pop schools. Since she's uh, packing everything for to sell in Australia, uh, which is super fun. Um, we are going to use popsicles today instead of their amazing ATD uh, stir sticks. That way all of you fans and family can partake in having a little bit of them at home to mix with. And I like to mix along with Miss Erica and Mr. Jeff. Um, when I do my stuff at home and I you know it's fun to use the same stir sticks that they're using at the same time and you know nerd out a little <laughs> when you do it I guess I'll sit down because I'm not a thing for you guys I'm sorry but, so I'm going to today um, put a lot of powder in here like Miss Erica does and see how that works just to make a really nice blue. Ooh. Just chunkify it. Ooh, that is a lot of blue. Okay. Sorry. My chair is too low for me to see into my cup comfortably. But at the same time, I know it keeps cutting off my head when I talk to you guys. So I'm just <laughs> going back and forth. Why didn't this a good part? Mm -mm. I just, I tried to overload it. Is that good? Overload? Yeah. Was it about two scoops? I two did like two and a half. Yeah. yeah. It'll be fine because you're going to fill that pretty much all the way to the top. Yeah. And I already told them the colors and the brands. Super. This board is a oh, I didn't cradle board that we sell on our website. And the interesting thing about our cradle boards is that they have this inset ring. So if you have any kind of like drywall hook or something, that you use to hang because they have like that that I have one over here. Alas, I don't. But it's special for that. And it's super light. It won't warp with any kind of pouring medium on it. And we just I spray gessoed it. I appreciate that she does that. Or he, whomever made that little this part to make sure it doesn't mm -hmm. So that is from Color Obsession. It is chartreuse, and we have oh. it on our. Oh, this is gonna be powder. To do list. No, that's wrapped around there because it would have leaked in transit. These are little bitty babies. Look at how little you are. <laughs> yeah, she sends me little testers, and I have like probably 22 colors that I need to try out for just resin and like. Eight, I think, for color obsession. Oops, I forgot to pour my pour my thingy things. <laughs> the guys are so slippery right now. I'm like, I do not want to drop this cup. <laughs> oh, that's no big deal. I'm going to zoom out so that they can see what you're doing, or I'll just move Lucy. 
Yeah, I was like, sorry, I'm talking and my head's cut off because I can't see sitting. So, friends and family at home, I generally, my, like, um, recipe to picking colors is I never really go over four colors. Unless for the base. Except for, sometimes there's special occasions. This is really runny, I'm surprised. Yeah, that's why she put that extra seal on it, because... There's something in it that makes it extra liquid. So. I'm just fine tuning these um, cameras while you're working. Trying to anyway. You guys hear Jeff in the background. He's doing another pre-recording for y'all for when we're away. That's so cool. <laughs> so you guys are both be recording at the same time. It's neat. Yeah, my mom won a MacBook on her last cruise. Dang. And That's she's like, awesome. I don't know how to work this, so she sent it to me. So since That's I so cool. got a new computer, I am bestowing Jeff my old laptop. That's awesome. So that we can set up two filming areas because we've had a lot of people lately that are very into seeing what he's doing with his airbrush and oh, of course. his doodling and all those things. So amazing. So You guys are both so insanely talented, like seriously. We just have our moments. <laughs> I think the so key to Mrs. being a talented <laughs> Which is a, a word that Makes really broad to me. Okay. I think talented is a very broad word. Because it's, it's about as broad as art in general is. Like you, what some people consider talent, others may not. What some people consider art, some may not. And Charlie. what's the difference in a talent and a skill? Like I always say, you I wouldn't know. you're born with a talent, and you can learn a skill. Right. But sometimes, no matter how hard you try to learn a skill, without some talent, you're not going to do it. Take dance, for example. If you mm, don't yeah, have yeah, not rhythm, mm -hmm. <laughs> then you will never learn. You can't learn rhythm. No, you can't. It's kind of pathetic, but it's true. I just, whatever. I think that in terms of what Jeff and I do, whether people think it's pretty or not, or that it's talent or not, or watchworthy or not, I think as long as it helps someone to think outside of their box, right, to attempt something new or to have the inspire. encouragement to do something or inspire someone to try something new, as long as one of those things happens I'm a happy camper because art shouldn't be scary and it can be it can be yeah and that's you definitely have empowered me to take a lot of fear out of doing art watching your um, channel specifically because of your eyes trials and errors and I love seeing that even no matter what you do, it's majority of it's always a hundred percent beautiful. But even to see when you both are like, oh, I'm not really a fan of what I just did, and I'm like, really? Like that's kind of shocking to me. You know what I mean? Like I'm mm. like, oh, or or you know, I'm not. No, well, I want you to mix this one. I want you to see how easy that powder is to mix in. Okay. Um, that's something I I was very into when we first set up the channel. Is I wanted people to see when we do something successfully or when we fail and I think that's something that differentiates our channel because a lot of people only post perfection or well, not perfection you know what you know works. works yeah what they deem as what, video worthy was successful yeah. 
a successful yes. And I think that... And I love it because it just shows that you're human too, you know? Like... Everybody's just human. Yeah, and not every art is going to be a win. And I love that because a lot of mine are fails over wins, you know? You can't, especially with resin, especially with resin, hmm. you're not going to... in the resin. It's not as... It's not very opaque, is it? Mm-mm. And maybe I should have put more. You can. So it was so thin. Get another know. stick and try it. Yeah. Maybe that's what it was. Um, it does not look cute. <laughs> it looks like snot. <laughs> like really jacked up slime, you know? Well, I mean, that's that may be the nature of that particular. And that's another thing is when people see color, mm -hmm. a lot of people see color differently. Did you know that Judy can't see some colors? She's like legal. She's colorblind, like she's colorblind for some colors. Crazy, no. Which is crazy because she loves color. Right. She loves to see the colors and to use all of the colors. Okay, that's crazy. Maybe mix in some seagrass. Okay. Have you seen, um, I haven't even used this. Those yet. glasses for colorblind people? So, so they can see color? Um, They're like plastic glasses that you get, like people get in online or whatever, I don't know. But it's some kind of thing and it allows them to see color for, like you can YouTube it, like, that's you know, a pretty color blend. close match to your... Like, it's so different when you mix something into... Oh, no, no, no. Color. Oh, yeah. Into resin. It looks so different than what it does I here. know, right? Like, I would not use this color. Uh, right? But, but I would on use there. this color. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, if that doesn't go opaque, I would just put a couple of... Okay. Just a little bit of this, just to deepen to the color. Deep, yeah. Doing a colander pour while I have only done one. Um, and it was amazing. <laughs> I can't even hate on it as far as a first You can't. Ride, it was so... Not I even that. It's it. amazing. You're really going to love it and appreciate it more when you let it... When it sets up. Uh-huh. And then you come back to bananas. it. Bananas. And you're going to be like, dang, that was awesome. Because the outer, to me, the outer part, you know, looks more like your acrylic... Like an act true acrylic pour, it right? It does. That cloudy... And you're going to have that shine. Mm hmm So I think you really dig it. Do you, it, did that go opaque? Um, try to rub that off so I can. It's more. It's not fully though. It's pretty thin still. It's better. It is better. I just want to put a little bit in there because you're not using black, yeah. so it'll probably be fine. Oh, yeah. Um. The great thing about. So which grade is this called? This is seagrass. Seagrass by Resin Art. Resin Art. Um, something. The good thing about mixing, maybe? Yeah, the good thing about these, all black. of these kinds of paints can be mixed together to make different colors or to deepen a color, brighten a color, to make a color opaque where it may have been transparent. Doing a colander pour. I've only done one. Mm -hmm. So I'm not an expert, but I wouldn't... Um, I wouldn't mix. I don't know. It's pretty. It's still kind of opaque when it th when it stretches. It's opaque, so it might it might just disappear on it. Honestly, when I put it on the thingy thing. Yeah, I don't want it. That's what I'm concerned about. Is I don't want to lose that green since that was the first color you picked. <laughs> It'll probably end up being your main color, so. I don't want it to get lost, and if you do it transparent, it's gonna get lost into. Oh shit! Especially with the clear base. Mm -hmm. It looks more opaque from here. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, it's a little bit deeper, but it's pretty. Yeah, this color is interesting. It's very, very um, translucent, which I would not have guessed. But I mean, it looks so luster and. Like on here, you know what I mean? Like I would never have picked that as a translucent. Well, she, as far as I know, of the colors I've used of hers, there's like maybe three that are kind of transparent-y of her paste. Like the tints, all of them are going to be transparent. I would not recommend these for this unless you're going to do all transparent, transparent or have the majority of the paint you're doing be transparent, like a thick ring. 
because it's going to get impeded on again, like with all the other opaques. It's like so weird. It's like you can see the two mixing, but not like, isn't that creepy? Mm -hmm. The dark and the. Uh, sorry to not. It's an overhead. You. There you go. Um, I was just showing her like the swirling in the two colors. One was darker, so you could see like the two tone of the swirl is like. Yeah, you can see the dark the edges. Dark. Yeah, like when I was all work. Like that was a trip. Okay, I just poured some on the phone. <laughs> on your phone? Oh, thumb. Yeah. I was like, on your phone? No, no, no. <laughs> Quick, get all me right. some. Alcohol. Oh my gosh, I forgot to mix all these. I was like tweaking out all that, and then I'm like, oh my goodness. Can I borrow just a little bit of this? Yeah. Because yes, I forgot to put some. Oh yeah. Out of mine. You guys will be seeing a video of doing this soon. I don't want to use all of your clear because you're going to need it for that. You know what would have been good? I probably that green would be on a black base because the metallic would show up better, you know? Yes. Do you, so. well, it'll, how dark is that um, Aberdeen color? The what? The purple. Oh, the amethyst? Oh, that's amethyst, not Aberdeen. Yeah, amethyst. It looks really dark on, yeah, because it's like plum looking, you know? It is very plum. I like this color because it's like if plum and magenta were hanging out. I need a baby. Because <laughs> it's like. I, it is. It's very burnt, like deep wine. Yes. It's a good color. This will go good next to that bright green. For I keep like forgetting a that dark I keep light back here and then that mobile. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this blue's on point. You'll learn since you're going to start your own channel. This will help you. I'll be excited when I get there. Yeah. You're there. You do amazing stuff. Oh, thank you. And you taught me how to emboss. <laughs> Not that I know everything, but usually I don't. Like I just Google it and I'll learn in person. Right, that was so fun. I appreciate it. I was like, <gasps> you something I it. can I, I do. appreciate it. <laughs> okay, so bam, bam, boom. Do you have all the colors mixed? Mm -hmm. Yes, mine. So yeah. let's move this stuff. Yeah, one more. This set up. And I'll just push my little thingy thing on here. Yeah. Oh, it's a good thing I did that more pink because. You know how white? It's just, it's the only mm -hmm. thing that's all white. Excuse my reach, everybody. I was looking for the, oh, that's not the one. I don't know what happened to that I one. I don't want to know what that either. I probably did something. And I, oh, there it is. <gasps> oh, it's on here. <laughs> I got green on it. Um, It's on your foot. It's on it. That's it fine. Stick? It's only, there's only resin on this side of it. Okay. But it's got green on it, so I wouldn't have advised using it in there anyways. Okay. This is like the best. It's so hard for me to not get my hands in it, but you can. I'm gonna control the computer and <laughs> sit back and let you, you can totally show get your the world your art. Whoops. I don't think this is gonna leak out. I mean, you pretty much got it all. <laughs> okay. Probably not. So this is feeling thick already. We'll just put some heat on it. Yeah. But you don't really want that much of the clear anyway, since you did do a couple powders. Yeah. Exactly. Oh yeah. There we go. Okay, and then the colander, just bam in the center. Oh, and a little Lovely. bit of white. Thank you. A little bit of the white around. There's something in here, there we go. Thank you, ma'am. 
So do you think I should do, because I didn't, ha I, do you think I should do some and still I'll still have enough to, of the white to do in between? Um, or should I do it just all in there? Do it first. And you remember on mine, like it ended up with like a gold ring on the outside. Mm -hmm. That was really neat. So if you start with white, I would do like one of your accents colors as like a ring in here to get pushed out. But if um, you do the piece out and there's some spots, we'll just mix up more white and fill in anything that looks bare. Okay. I just don't so want it to don't... get tilted off. Okay. I don't know that that helped it. You okay. know what I mean? All right. I, do I don't know that it added to it. All right. Should I start with white inside the thing? Sure. Probably, right, to make that cell happen? Mm hmm Silly. So silly. Yeah. Well, I'm taking my stick out when I need a pre-stir, but whatever. <laughs> you just mix those. I mean, they shouldn't have separated at all. Yeah, let's do this so don't move my hand just pour I mean, you can circle in it it's since oh. it's um just to get it all, all in around there. okay yeah, and let's... so the bigger the like sections are is determined upon how big like how much you resin you put in is how big the little loops are you know what i mean oh okay Ooh, I do know. So it'll be thin lines if you just do a little bit like and that. thicker lines if. Oh, okay. That'll be fun to mess with too. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to see what color looks best when it's by. All those colors yeah. look good together. They're not necessarily touching. You can see what the side angle is right there. Oh, yeah. Wow. Beautiful. I keep wanting to say bless you to him. I know. <laughs> He's just <laughs> doing his thing in there. Mm -hmm. It makes me want to do a tie-dye shirt. Oh, right? Like I want to do like a few colors, then like twist it a little bit, do a few <laughs> colors, then twist it. Totally. Do a few and twist it. That way they're like Man, offset, know, kind of like kid. this looks. Mm -hmm. Which how crazy is it that it's like? <gasps> okay, it's back on. Did I hit it? I hit it. Oh, phew. Okay. So I almost went ahead and did my idea for you. <laughs> that almost just really happened. It's <laughs> okay. I think you should heat the outside a little bit because oh, it's so stumping. Okay. And I'm going to show you guys up close totally what I'm talking about. That. I'm like, I totally forgot to do that. Oh, yeah. Look at that thick right there. See how it's like bending right here? Mm -hmm. Which is fine if that's like a design that you want. Going for, that's not what we're going for. If you pin it, then it, it'll move more easily. And it was, like I said, already. I turned the heat down for Oh, that's already. right. I was like, oh, let me see a pumpkin. <laughs> um, and it was uh, thick to begin with, remember? When I put the base, I was like, oh, it's pretty thick. Mm -hmm. Ooh, love it. Look at the soft I think just by doing that. Awesome. Oh, that's pretty good. Right? Yeah. So... That blue with this green and purple together have made like basically peacock. Oops, it was too soon for that slide. <laughs> really digging it. Trip, and because huh? of the stone coat white, how it does what it does, mm -hmm. that's what's making this these point right here instead cool. of just round like all the other colors. Yeah, I love that. It's so crazy.
It looks so interesting from the side. Right? I'm just gonna give them a close up of Lucy. Mm -hmm. I mean, this blue is just so pretty. That was what surfs up? Yes, ma'am. By resin art. Luster pigments. I mean, these are kind of different. Like that purple, I wasn't expecting it to look so plummy. If it was personally, I wouldn't have chosen it. If I knew it was like that deep, deep, deep wine with these. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's just weird to me with this green. These, the specific, remember how I said, like it works for me depending on exactly the color yeah. of shade. I mean, of green and purple. So it's kind of a little weird to me, but I actually, the blue helps break it up. <laughs> I like it because it, it turns it gives your piece something warm other than the green which seems to be a little bit getting lost it's stumping up a little bit mm -hmm. but that gives it kind of a mandala look if you that's look true. in the camera uh -huh. yeah so yeah, crazy. while it's doing something crazy not mad at the crazy <laughs> <laughs> not mad at the crazy i gotta use that amethyst more because it i like that color it is a beautiful color i just next to this green i don't think it's like pretty so next time for you i think what you should choose is like maybe stormy seas that's like a black purple like okay. vampire purple wow it's super deep okay. and it doesn't have that warmth to it it's more like a violet instead of magenta mm. Or even a lighter purple would have been like a more grapier would have been probably better next to the green. I like it because of the depth that it gives. This is true. The piece. I think if you would have went with like Too light, it those been. lilac colors over there. Oh no, for uh, sure no. Yeah. You wouldn't have had that eye draw. Yeah, the contrast is really neat. I'm going to put some heat on the outside so that it's not stumping like this. You can keep doing your stuff. Adding that heat, it's not something that she should um, push her colors around with. It's just to thin it out so it moves more freely. Just to get the flow. Oops, oh yeah, all right. I'm like, did I just? <laughs> Cause sometimes I forget and I go out of order and I think, oh, that would look cool, but not necessarily. <laughs> I've done it out of order before too. I'm uh, thinking like, oh, that's gonna be red. I'm like, oh. No, I guess not. That, you know, that pattern's there for a reason, I guess. Mm. <laughs> so fun. It's different, though, isn't it? Than yours? Like, it's totally different. It is. It's like a weird blurry or something, that way. I like it better with... I think the way mine came out was a little bit busy. Oh. I like busy though. I like all of it. I like busy, I like simple. I like, um, a lot and I like a little. That blue and the green together just look pretty awesome. Yeah. I really do. I'm trying to drop this on that point, so I was hoping it would bleed evenly. It's resin. It's not going to do what you want it to do. <laughs> okay, so. So 10 ounces turns out to be basically exact coverage amount. Yeah, on your, what is this, what is the size of this? 15. On your 15, oh shit. Well that, and you use some for your thingy, but not much, so yeah, pretty on point. If you were to heat this too much, 
it would completely yeah these look like little rainbow reflections like when light goes through oh, crystals oh yeah huh it's interesting it's weird how it's more wobbly like you see the it come out it kind of curves on this one isn't that weird it might be because I wanted to, t like, because it was running off too much over here, so I rotated it. Oh. I wanted it to stay centered because it's not running off. It just ran to the edge. Yeah. But. But the only bummer is you don't have stuff for coasters if you wanted it to match your little thingy. Good and bad. Depending well, on how you look at it. If you tilt if you it at coaster. all, you're going to have overflow and you can just do a smush you know i tried smushing i don't think i'm doing it right because when i i thought oh look at that pattern it's so pretty it's maybe i smushed say. too much no it's just whatever it is that you see like if it falls in an acute way uh-huh don't think that you're gonna pull that off it quickly. looks it looked like mud when i when i sm i think i smushed too much or or maybe i could have been here. Maybe I didn't smush. Maybe I like went to smush and then I was like, I'll just grab it and throw it on there. <laughs> yeah, that'll mix it up. Yeah. For sure. Maybe that was what I did. <laughs> While making things up. Yeah, I smushed. No, I didn't. Lies. <laughs> all of the lies. <laughs> all right. There it all is. And all it's. It looks like straight up, like, rainbow reflection. <laughs> That's interesting. It's definitely different colors. So now you got to pick up your center after you... Yeah. You got to pop your bubbles. Hands. Hands your hands. That's crazy on the screen. Mm -hmm. Sorry, my fingers in it. Oh, <laughs> right, you're like holding that. Oh my gosh, with your bare hands, the uh, coaster after mm -hmm. I embossed like it forever and ever. Yeah, and I was like, oh my gosh, like, there's no way. This is cool. It is. You need to do it over here. How'd you get that to do that? If you make sure, could you remember if you, um, I don't want to tilt it and like change your design. I just want to get some of the overflow mm -hmm. onto the edge. Cause that's what's doing it. Cause re remember resin's going to go where it's already been. Yeah. That's true. So as long as you, put resin on the sides, it'll flow off. It'll flow perfectly. Mm -hmm. So, you can't hurt me. I've been, I've been hit with all the resin and all the heat done. So now that'll end up flowing evenly off. As long as you've got everything covered. Which, mm -hmm. what did you do? Just that spot. There it is. <laughs> Oops, thank you. So, I gotta take the middle off. Yeah. You're drip free. Isn't that crazy? Mm -hmm. How simple that is. I love it watching it fill. Fills in, doesn't it? <laughs> yep. Thankfully, because see, now if you didn't have your clear base, it wouldn't end up, I bet. Mm mm. I would have stayed as raw. So now it's all these are like... It's got just a center, center clearness. That's it. But you can't tell because of the light. All this is going to fall. Mm-hmm. Rainbow style. So that can stay like that or you can tilt it or... I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. I don't either. I mean, the colors are not necessarily my friend right now. Personally, I'm just like, whoa. <laughs> it's a bit intense. I like the design, though. <laughs> yeah, I do like the design. I'm not a fan of the colors right now. I'm like, ooh. I think once you look at it after it's set and can hold it, 
Is this glass finish right now? Yeah. I don't have anything in it. I think once you see it set, you're gonna like it. It's weird how the thing got so wonky though, mm -hmm. huh? I wonder if it was because it was like fleeing it a little too much inside or something. Um, I wouldn't stress about that because I know you stress about perfection sometimes. <laughs> but I think there's a certain beauty and imperfection. Oh, for sure. And sometimes things being perfect mm -hmm. distracts from it. If that even makes sense. I don't even know if that it makes sense. It totally makes sense. And I appreciate you saying it. So this is what she looks like from the side. <laughs> I don't know, part of me wants to try and see what it does, but then I'm like, well, if it looks like that weird turkey. <laughs> yeah, I don't want you to end up with a turkey. <laughs> I think, I think from this angle, it looks like a, like you, okay, so my grandmother used to have these like doilies. Oh, like yeah, plays, yeah, yeah. like for hot, uh -huh, hot doilies. Uh -huh. Is what it looks like in the camera. Right. Let's try it. Let's try a, what do you, what does Mr. Jeff always call it? Major tilt? Oops, sorry. A super tilt? Yeah. And, but let's tilt it also the other way so it doesn't do just one way. So we can't right. do a turkey, right? So we won't do a turkey. We're gonna do a super <laughs> tilt. Let's see, let's see what it'll do. Why not? We're here to experiment. Yep. So just full on, like this? Is that how you do the super? Mm-hmm. Maybe I should've heated it. Come <laughs> on, maybe I should've, well, it's slowly going. Oh, there's the peacock right there. Look at that. But I think that's I love the looking. blue. I know, right? <laughs> I would even, like, leave it and paint a peacock. Well, I can't paint. But I'll leave it for you guys to paint. I bet like. Jeff would paint a peacock. Right? right? I'm like, I don't know how to make a peacock or paint. That's the thing with... I literally don't know how to draw or, or can't. You know what I mean? People are really going to love this. And I understand that you, you're not digging the colors, but... I'm digging it now that it's more thinned out so you can see more of the blue. Helps balance it. I'm so jazzed about this. I am now. I needed to see that blue because, whew. <laughs> I was like, with the little itty bitty bits, like it was like that. I was like, whoa. And the green did sink a little bit. Mm -hmm. but Which is a, it's a good thing, though, the way it is right now. I like it. And I bet I can talk Jeff into doing um, a peacock head on it. He's him. like, gobble, gobble. <laughs> right. I'm going to take this to the dust free zone and I will be right back. There's coasters down there if you want to do some squares. Oh, Wake up the babies. Okay, so let's try the smush. I've never, never smushed. I do not want to fall in these chairs. Super fan, but it's not super ugly. <laughs> I just move that whole paper up. Hold on. Beep. <laughs> I just laid it on there and then picked it up. Is that what it smushes? Yep. Okay. <laughs> kind of like a weird mermaid lagoon unicorn. Yeah. Mix. Yeah, there you go. Little trying to like. Spermies. <laughs> yeah, laying down. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like streams of color. There you go. 
put it in there like that. All else fails. Add some glitter. <laughs> all the time and now I got resin all over this. Alright, we'll kick start it later. I'm like stomping. <laughs> Can you imagine if it was little Miss Joplin? Like, squeak, squeak, squeak. <laughs> she would. I don't know. She's probably under that thing. That is pretty though, huh? It's like what you would see people do for mermaid things or whatever, you know what I mean? Mm hmm The unicorn stuff on online or whatever. Digging it. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching and seeing what we're up to today. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to be kind to one another. You never know what someone may be going through, and we'll see you next time. Bye. I said bye.